Alright guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Acre on the Arma 3 Beta. First thing that you need to do is download a couple files and I already have them pulled up, but you go to Armaholic and look for the community based add-ons A3, which is Arma 3, and it should be Beta. Um, download this file, you can probably see it up top here at the browser. And there's also another link that you might be able to see. I'll probably be copying this in the description of the video so it'll be easier. But you need to download Acre, which is this, and community based add ons for Armor 3. And I'm going to go ahead and re download those and take you through the whole process. I already have it done, but yeah. Quick second. You can go ahead and just open them. Okay. Now we have the two main files, Acre and community based add-ons. What we need to do right now is go to your ARM3 directory and I have mine open. I don't know what your guys is but it's usually almost always I'm pretty sure you go to your local disk program files Steam Steam app common ARM3 and it should be this. Now you might not you will not matter of fact have these specific folders right here and that's because I already downloaded them like I said but what you need to do is go ahead and extract everything from the acre folder the acre download into your armor 3 uh, your armor 3 directory and extract everything from community based add-ons into your armor 3 directory and make sure you keep the folder integrity. Do not mess with anything. It should be looking exactly like this. Okay. After you get everything extracted, you want to go ahead and open up Acre. And there's something that we're going to look at here. Let me do something. Okay. You see all these folders. We need to click on user config. And we have two HPT files, which are just pretty much configuration files for type of programming language, but that's irrelevant. What we need to do is copy, no, not copy and paste, we need to cut and paste. Do not copy and paste. You will, it will not work for you if you do that. You need to get it out of this acre user config um, directory. So cut, back out make a separate user config folder as you can see here make a folder called acre everything lowercase after you do that paste those two files that you just cut from the acre user config folder and paste them here okay we got that done next you need to um, get the plugins from the acre folder and you need to put them in your team speak I don't have them here but luckily I got an extra one so you go to your let me back up you go to your army 3 directory click on acre click on plugin and you should have these two files that pretty much just are used whether or not you have um, Windows 32 bit or 64 bit so just take both of them cut and paste not copy and paste and find your TeamSpeak um, folder as you see it's a little bit too long of a process to do this so one thing that I recently found out is just go to your TeamSpeak icon open file location you got it as you see I would have to go through so much just to get to it. So I recommend just right clicking TeamSpeak and opening the file location. 
after you get there, there should be a folder that says plugins. And what you do is you just paste your plugins. Pretty much self explanatory, but it can get a little confusing. And go ahead and skip that. I already have them down. I think because I already have a program open. But that, it should work for you guys. Just a cut and paste. It's simple. Alright, now we can close those two files. There's a few things that we need to do. Um, I would, since I have Steam, I just noticed that. Let's go ahead and open up your Steam. Always run as admin. Never just run it regularly. Always run as admin to avoid any issues with um, permissions and whatnot. So go to your Steam icon. Go to your library. Right click your Arma 3 beta. Go to properties and set launch options. After you've reached here, you need to have this uh, this command line that's going to pretty much just tell Arma 3 to load these up. Um, I will copy and paste this into the description for you guys to get down. So if you can't see it or anything, just don't worry about it. It should be in the description. But copy and paste that line should be down there and put it into this launch options box press ok close you can close steam if you want next thing we need to toy around with teamspeak real quick to configure it to run the acre now you go to you can you can go to plugins just to confirm that you have the actual plugins that we pulled from the original acre folder but I already know that I got them so don't worry about that you shouldn't need to go there go to options as of right now I'm not using acre with my clan but for the sake of it if you do use acre you need to use push to talk or it will not work and use a button that um, is convenient for you and doesn't overlap with anything else. So go ahead and make sure it's on push to talk. And you go to hotkeys. This is something that I was told about. Um, make sure it is not on default or keyboard and mouse only. It must be on direct input or it will not work. After you get that, Click OK. Make sure you know you're running everything as admin. Just want to point that out there. I might not be doing that, but I you need guys need to make sure you are doing that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and try to boot this up. Okay, your Arma 3 should be loaded up. Just go ahead and go to Options and Expansions and ensure that Acre and the J Arma 3 library are checked and enabled. Now I'm just going to go set up something really quick, just a rudimentary mission, nothing special at all, just to ensure that I have Acre working. I'm going to place a rifleman down here. It's going to be me. And we're going to go to empty acre radio boxes. This should be something that uh, you're able to access. We're going to go ahead and just run it real quick. And check things out. I'll run you through a little bit on how to use it. It's real simple, but some people don't know the controls. I found that a little bit hard at first. Okay. Open. And you can see there are different objects, different items, radios to be specific that you can 
choose. These are just different frequencies. There's VHF, UHF, um, PRCs. All we really need right now is mainly the PRC343. You should have one that comes with your guy. To access that, click sh Control Shift X. We have two dials up top. The left one is channels. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes all the way up to 16. And the right one, which is volume, which goes all the way up to 10 by single digit increments of just by ones. Um, normally your team leader will be telling you which channel you're on and you guys can get to set off. There's nothing specific that you need to be on. Sometimes you might be at 10 and sometimes you might be at channel 4. doesn't matter. Just adjust the volume however much you need it. Um, something else that you probably would need is As you can see, you just, I haven't edited the controls, but everyone knows that if you click Control A or Control D, your guy's going to, you know, do the technical stance to the left. You don't really want that, but for now, it doesn't really matter. But to access the different radios, click Control Shift A or Control Shift, eh, yeah, Control Shift A, and you can see down at the bottom, bottom right there's two different radios that we have the PRC 343 and the PRC 148 UHF and they are operated at different frequencies and this is just to keep every the comms clear and to have a command channel and to have a team leaders having a channel with their members and whatnot and so we can go ahead and open the other radio. Oh, my bad. Got to take that. But yeah, you. We will do Control Shift X again after you pick up one of these radios that are available and you can see there's a lot of different things to toy with there's scanning you can change frequencies channels modes um, tells you power it's really you know useful that's something that you should mess around yourself and experiment with to kind of understand the concept of radios and communication but I'm not going to run through that right now. I just want to show you how to get Acre working. But that's pretty much everything that you need. And if you need any extra help, just contact me at the link below my email. Or be sure to message me on YouTube or something. But that should all be it. And thanks.